Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I'm making stuffed potato balls. In my last video I made picadillo. Now this is ground beef with various spices and it's super yummy, tons of flavor. So now I'm gonna start off with my potatoes. I'm doing a small amount, but I'm just going to finish peeling two medium potatoes. And right here I have boiling water and I've cut my potatoes into thick slices. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to put my potatoes in my boiling water for approximately 20 minutes. Now my potatoes are completely cooked. I'm going to drain all the water and let them cool off for a little bit. Okay, so my potatoes are completely cooled off. It is really important for you to let these potatoes cool off for a couple of reasons. Number one, we're going to add a raw egg. And if the potatoes are still hot, the egg's going to cook. And the other thing is, we're going to start forming the potatoes in your hand. You don't want to work with hot potatoes in your hand. So I'm going to add an egg. And I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of flour. You could use cornstarch as well. It's just a thickening agent because we're going to make this a thick consistency, but we want it to kind of pack together. So you want it to be kind of like a Play-Doh. Remember the Play-Doh stuff that we used to play with when we were kids? Kind of like Play-Doh, uh, just kind of a thick dough sort of. So I ended, up, I ended up putting an extra teaspoon, so three teaspoons of flour. So you can see it's, it's kind of thick. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now there's a ton of flavor in my picadillo. That's the filling that I'm going to make my potato balls with. There's a ton of flavor in that. So I'm not putting a lot of salt, a lot of spices in this potato. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by flouring my work surface. Okay, so. Now, I think it's easier to make sure that your hands have flour in them, that way, the potato mixture doesn't necessarily stick so easily to your hands. So this is the way I'm going to do this. Make sure you have plenty of flour in your hands. I'm gonna make a nice little ball. Now we're gonna stuff this. So I'm gonna make a, a little ditch inside the middle of my ball. Okay, see that? It's a little dome area right there, a little upside down dome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill it with my picadillo. Okay, see that? I'm gonna fill it up. Found this easier than other methods. I saw other videos where they make it flat and then they paste around it. I think making the little dome is kind of easier because you already start off with the basic roundness of the potato ball. Now you just kind of work it around. Now let's make it nice and beautiful round. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the, I'm gonna put it in the flour, and there's my beautiful potato ball. Okay, so here's my hot oil. It's very hot. So I'm gonna start placing my potato balls in there. And I'm slightly nervous about dropping them in because this is really hot oil. There we go, beautiful. Now you don't wanna overcrowd. So I'm just gonna put three at a time. 
Okay, so here we are. They're browning up beautifully. Had to lower the heat. Those first, that first batch kind of got a little darker than I wanted, but these are a beautiful brown color. So we're going to continue. And these are my beautiful potato balls. They're beautiful, they're round, and they're a nice brown color. 